Hi and welcome my, to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace either one of these bulbs, okay, in this uh, housing here. And how to remove this uh, rear housing light on a Toyota Sienna. This is a 2017 model. If you have something similar, similar procedure, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to just simply get into the trunk here. And once we're inside, all we're going to do is we're going to remove this number 10 bolt and this number 10 bolt and then we're gonna pull this light out and it should come out simply and i'll show you the bulbs and uh this should be a simple five minute job so let's start off by removing number 10 so you're gonna need 10 millimeter with the ratchet this is 3 8 drive let's take this guy off let's put it somewhere safe one thing I want to tell you is, do not mix up your bulbs, okay? If you mix up your bulbs, meaning if this is single flare or dual flare bulb, you need to put a dual flare bulb in a dual flare. Because if you don't, you're going to blow the fuses. I'm going to show you exactly if there's a single flare or dual flare bulb. And this right here clear part, that's your um, different bulb. And this is a different bulb, so it's two different bulbs. So once you have that out, what you're going to do is... You're gonna simply just pull the light backward. So we're gonna come over here. All right. So we're gonna come over here now. We got the two screws out. So it's pretty much, it's gonna be very simple. But at the same time, it's not gonna be uh, something that you're gonna be easily get it off. Do not try to yank forward on it. Cause you're gonna push back just like that. You see that? I'm gonna show you exactly what's in there. So in here, you see that little guy right there? This little guy goes, slides and slips into that, okay? So it's pretty much, it works like a fork and it goes right in, all right? So that's what you're looking at right there. So it's not something that's gonna come out, it's gonna just slip out of there. But anyway, once we have this removed, right in the back here, you're gonna have a whole bunch of connectors, okay? So this top bulb here has two wires. So you simply just turn it. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna disconnect. Okay, there's three, there's a small connector here with three wires. I can't get it out of there. Okay, I was trying to remove the connectors in there because um, I wanted to have an easy access. But uh, instead of that, let's do this. I'm gonna, what we're gonna do here is, you see this guy right here? This is the bulb for here. It's a, it's a single flare bulb because it has two wires, okay? So this bulb, you just turn it and it comes right out. And the bulb size on this is, uh, doesn't have a bulb size. But this is a single flare bulb, it's orange color. And all you do, you take, pull this off and you put another bulb in. It doesn't matter which direction, you can put it any direction. And uh, you take this bulb, you find the, the little ear lobes where they match up and you turn it clockwise make sure this wire sits back where it was at so let me push that back in there you go and then for this one this is the bottom bulb down here so that bulb it's a three wire problem okay so it's a it's a dual flare bulb okay so pretty much this is what the bulb look like it does not have its size on it okay seven four four three that's the bulb seven four four three Make sure it's a dual flare bulb. That means it has two flares inside. You can put this this way or this way. It doesn't matter. And just stick a new bulb in there. And uh, this one just turns. Okay, same thing. Okay, find the earlobes and turn it. And then to put it back, okay, just pay attention to this. You see this little guy right here? There's like a little, little guy right here that, that's going to go in here, okay? And this the fork is gonna go in there so pretty much you just line up everything okay once you line up everything you just hit it and it goes back to its spot make sure everything is nice and perfect you're gonna come back around and you're gonna put the number 10 in another number 10 And after that, just take your ratchet, simply just turn it 
don't go crazy tightening this just just a turn where it snugs in hold it in position and a small little snug this is a plastic you will break that plastic and a snug that's it guys thank you for watching my video don't forget to subscribe share and like and the procedure is the same for the opposite side same thing number 10 number 10 and pull the light outwards anyways thank you subscribe and bye bye